hello guys welcome back to this video training so in today's video we are going to be learning how to copy and clone a website so on our channel here at weblog media we made a video previously on this channel on how to clone a website so this video got a lot of comments it's got a lot of requests and it's also got a lot more testimonies of people who have cloned successfully used our trick and strategy and successfully cloned their website so guys in today's video training we are going to be learning three things we are going to be answering the questions that we are requested on the previous video now we are also going to be showing you how to copy this website from scratch to finish and then how we upload how we are going to upload this website to our server let's say we are doing this for a new client we are going to be showing you how to do that in this video now i want to open that video so that we can see some of the requests that we got on that video so we can say how to how to clone how to clone a website how to clone a website okay so weblog media so this is a video that we made previously on our, on our channel here so you can see that this video was made five months ago and it has 9.4k views which is telling us that this video got a lot more engagement and a lot of people liked this video that is why youtube video keep reinventing and showing it to people so guys in today's video let's just check through this video so that we can see some of the comments i'm going to pause this so you can see this video i want to show you some of the comments below this video so that you can see the requests that people made and then we are going to answer we are going to be answering those request from people on this video so you can see a lot more requests so okay i see the first comment here he said i didn't get the tool you used to clone please add it to your description it makes the video clearer so you can see wonderful video i would love to ask can i copy and have the php code in it like i mean let's say i want to copy my website and have the login administration okay i answered that that is no so let's say okay now okay now see the request we made this one he said you said on your next video you will show how to upload the copied website on cpanel many are waiting wow guys so guys in today's video we are going to be showing you how to copy your website and then upload it to your cpanel and edit these websites to become your own now if you're watching this video or this is the first time you're seeing yourself on our channel please we are weblog media we share educating videos of this tech stuff digital marketing and whatever skill you wish to acquire whatever tech skill you wish to acquire this is the best channel to come and then get this kind of skills so guys in today's video you are going to be learning all this so now hit the subscription button below and turn on the subscription bell what this is going to do is if we release educating videos of this sort you will be among the first persons to watch this video and then you are going to start implementing so guys if you've done that there's one more thing you should do please comment below this video give us a request and what i want you to comment below this video is how to clone a website or cloning a website just give a, a good comment below this video so that as this previous one ranked also and we got a lot of requests this one will also rank and then we are going to answer a lot more questions from you guys so guys if you've done that let's dive into my system and let's continue doing this now you've seen some of the requests so we are going to be doing this the first request we got here was the person asking of the tool we made use of so we are going to be answering that the second request is people asking of how to clone and then upload the website to their server so that is the second request so we are going to also answer that in this video so guys i have the website i want to clone here so this is the website i want to clone so you know as usual you the first thing you should do is to go to the website then you are going to copy the website link you get the website link now answering the first request that we got on this video the tool we made the software we made use of in cloning this website is the software called ht track 
so the hd track helps you to i have a lot more other softwares that like i use to clone website but the one i'll be using this in this video to show you is the hd track so if you want to get this software it is free you can just type come to the online space and just go to any browser and type hd track so i'm going to type that so if you type that you click on enter so you can go to the download page of this software and you'll be able to get this software installed for you so i want to do that again so okay HTT track so that is the website so i'm going to hit enter so let's wait for that to load it's taking lots more time so let's reload that okay it's loading so this is the website you want to clone guys so you can see how beautiful you can see how beautiful this website looks you can see how beautiful it looks so guys let's wait for this tool to open so i want to search for that again so ht track okay it's here already so i want to remove this so so you can see this once you type ht track this is what you're going to see so once you've seen this the first thing you should do is click on this link so once you click on this link once you click on this link the next thing you should do is to go to this download section we we'll go to download section so you can see a lot more other versions of this software so there are a lot more of them so now you can see here we have a recommended one so the green one they say is recommended so you can see recommended here so what you should do if you want to get this software is just come over here and click on alternate sites and when you click on this alternate site this software is going to install for you and you're going to follow the on-screen processes to install it into your system is very easy so guys this is the software we are going to be using in this video so now after you've installed that the next thing you should do is to head over and then start cloning your website so we've got the link we want to clone so this is the link we've copied it before so i want to head over to my software so you can see that it's already installed in my system so i'll just have to double click on this software i'll hit the next button so now you should give your project a name so what name are we going to give let's say we've got a client that wants us to design a company website so let's say company let's say company company clone so that is the project name so i'm going to hit next so now i want to take you back to something so you can see that the base path so this base path is where you are you can find this file whenever it is cloned in your system so if you clone this website now if you want to locate it we are going to go to our local disk if we go to our local disk we are going to locate c you can see c then on c we are going to locate my website so let's take it bit by bit after cloning it we are going to go over and then we are going to see this so let's click on next we've given our project name so what you should do here is to paste the url that we copied so i would advise you will always copy this and that you should not just come here and type it because you may get it wrong so i've pasted that so what i just have to do is to click on next once i've clicked on next i'll click on finish and guys this website will start uploading and cloning this website for me so what i do actually is whenever this is happening i take a chilled bottle of coke and then wait while it's installing and what mostly determine how fast this is going to clone is your internet connection so if you have a fast a very fast internet connection guys this website is going to clone a little quick and you can start designing your website from there but if your internet is not good on the other hand you can still wait patiently and the website will definitely copy for you so we just have to wait now and allow this website to copy for us and then we are going to go over to our cpanel and we can start uploading our website to our server so i just have to close this so i'm done with everything i'm doing here so um let's wait for that to copy so you see that is is happening so let me in let me open this so that i can see my screen very well so i believe it should be done very soon i believe it should be done so because the website it doesn't have so depending also on 
how the f kind of files you have in this website if you have large files in the website it's going to take more time to copy this website for you so but however if if the files are not much you are going to clone this website fast and it will be easy for you to do that so let's wait for this to copy for us guys and we are going to head over to the C panel and then we are going to start uploading this website on our server so I want to minim bring this down a little bit and let me shift this towards this end so I want to go to Chrome so I want to show you something guys so let's come to Chrome now if you're doing this if you're cloning a website that you want to use for a fresh client you should always you know as usual you should get your ho domain and hosting so here I can just type on this place I can go to Namecheap. Namecheap Namecheap is a registrar that allows you to buy domain and hosting. So this domain and hosting are the two things you need after you have cloned your website. So let's say I want to design this company website for a client and I need to buy a domain and hosting. So you can come to Namecheap, you sign up with them, is a free, you can sign up with them for free. So I can come here and type let's say company companies.com so I, let's say that is the domain name i want to buy and i'm going to search for that domain name and see if it is available so most times if it is not available you'll find a way to tweak it and then make that domain available so that you can always add it to cart so why this is doing name chip is a free site okay you see that this one has been registered already so we can always go back and say company x zxy.com so let's search for that let's see if that is wow that is available so if your domain if the domain name of your client is available you can just add it to cart so while we are adding that to cart you go to hosting so you need your domain and you need your hosting so that has been added to cart because you can see the total amount so you can come over to shared hosting and get a hosting for your client so uh, the, you can always go with this first one this first one is okay you can always go with this first plan so you have a total of um, 35.64 cents so um, Namecheap is always is they are running a discount right now so you can always get this um, at a lower price so but I don't want to get a domain name I'm just telling you this so should in case you got a client that needs it for a fresh website so you can clone your the particular website you have in choice in mind and then you buy your domain you buy your hosting and you can always deliver this job to your client so let's say i've got this for a new client so now let's check if our website has finished copying wow 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 guys you can see that we'll finish cloning this website so once we are done with that you click on finish yeah, and then you click on exit so now remember the path i told you that this website will be copied to so let's go to our pc now and we are going to locate the c because you can see c here so i'm going to double click on this and you remember you remember this was my website it was at my website so i'll double click on this so let's look at so wow guys you can see that this is the project name we gave to our work so this is company clone so i'm double click on it so you can see every file that was successfully cloned for us so if you want to confirm that um, this website was cloned successfully for you, you can just check out this index HTML here and you're going to see that that website will open for you wow guys you can see that this website is opening so while it is still preloading so let's go back and let me explain some other things so now you can see once you have cloned this website for you to upload it to your cpanel it needs to be a zipped file you you don't just upload any kind of file to your cpanel the file must be zipped so now which one of these files are we going to zip we are going to zip the file that has the domain name of the website we copied and as you can see this is the domain name we copied so for you to compress or zip this file i just have to select this and then right click on it once I right click on this on my PC, I'll go to send to and when I click on send to you are going to see compressed zipped folder. So I'll click on that and automatically it is going to compress and zip this file. So it is this file that I'm going to upload to my cPanel right now. 
so let's check if that website has opened um let's wait wow guys you can see that how beautiful this website looks wow you can see how beautiful it looks so this is the site we have just cloned you can see all the pages they are working effectively so they are working wow 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 guys we if you don't clone this very well um a lot more pages will not open so you should take your time and clone your website very well if you don't clone it very well for the first time i believe the second time will always work so you do that for the second time and it is going to work out for you so now we've got let's say we want to get this for our new client we have seen where our file is so i'll just have to minimize this and come over to this place so once you purchase your domain name and hosting you are going to receive a mail and once you receive that mail that mail we have your cpanel username and your cpanel password so it is this cpanel username and password that you can always use to log into your cpanel where you can now upload this website to your server so now let's say for instance i later bought that domain at um company company um zx.com so let's say we successfully got this so if i now want to log into the cpanel of this domain i'll just do something like slash cpanel so guys if i do this now and search it it is going to redirect me to the place i can now put my username and password the ones that we are sent to my email from namecheap but you remember guys we did not purchase this domain name so it is not going to open so but i want to show you an instance of what you're going to see using a website that we have already bought the domain and hosting so that website is dot com slash slash cpanel the same way you're going to do for your domain the domain for your client or for yourself so i'm going to click on enter right now so it is going to redirect me straight to my cpanel so let's wait for that to load now so it's going to so if you see once you purchase this domain name and hosting you are going to put your domain name on a browser slash cpanel and it's going to bring you right to this place so you can see i can now put my username from my email the email they sent i can now put my password and this will log me instantly to my cpanel so immediately i'm logged into my cpanel i'm going to see an interface like this so i'm going to see an interface like this so this is the same thing you're going to see on your own if you log into your cpanel so once you log into your cpanel you are going to first locate the file manager so you can scroll through and see if you can locate the file manager so this is my file manager here however if you don't see your file manager here you can always come to this search button and search for file manager so you can see it's right there so i have to click on this to open my file manager so once you open it you're going to see a place like this now um you know i'm uh, if you want to do this for a fresh client you are going to upload the zipped file directly into your public underscore html you're going to upload it into this place you can see on my screen here that is the place you can you are going to upload that website to but you know i'm not doing this for a fresh client i'm just doing this for you so that you can learn how to do this I have set up the, a subdomain where I'll be doing this for you. So I am not doing this on my public underscore HTML because I already have a website on my public underscore HTML and I will not be doing that from there so that I won't overwrite the existing website on my server. For, but you, if you have a client, a new client, you are going to upload this directly to your public underscore HTML so this is my subdomain so this is the subdomain i have set up so you are going to see that it's quite empty so the next thing i should do is just once i've done i've come to the subdomain i will just go over to upload and i'm going to select files i'm going to show all files so this is the same process you are going to follow if you are doing this for a new client you go to your public underscore html you head over to upload and then you're going to select the file and we this is where our file is this is the zipped file this is the zipped file which we are going to be uploading to our server so once i've done that i'll just have to double click on this and this site will start uploading for me so guys you can see that this file has started uploading for me 
so we can just wait for this to upload for us and then we can now start editing our website so guys i believe you're following so while this website is uploading so i just want to do a recap of whatever i've said from the beginning of this video so now i was able to show you the particular software you can use to clone your website and we, cl we successfully cloned our website so now once after cloning the website we went to the path where the website was copied and then we zipped the file and now it is this zipped file we are going to upload to our cpanel i have told you how to, you can locate your cpanel if you're kind of confused you buy your domain you buy your hosting and then you log into your cpanel with the password and the username that was sent to your email so once you've done that you locate your file manager in your cpanel and you are going to select this zipped file and it is going to upload as you can see on my screen right here so we can wait for this to upload now okay let's wait for it to upload before i say whatever i'll have to say so it is uploading 95 95 97 98 99 100 so it's 100 so you want to wait for it to turn green if it has not turned green please don't exit this page because it has not uploaded successfully so let's wait for it to turn on to green it's blue already so it's 100 but it's not yet complete wow it is 100 now so we can always go back to our file manager wow so once you upload this successfully you are going to see the zipped file here you can see that it is still zipped you can see that it's still zipped so if you upload it also to your public underscore html you are going to see this same thing on your public underscore html so that is here this is where you're going to see it but i you know i'm making it of a subdomain so once you're there it has been uploaded you just right click on it and then click on extract so i believe okay once you've clicked on extract you click on extract file and it will be extracted for you so you see that this is the same file that we zipped so we zipped it so that it can allow us to upload it to our server so you see that this is the website we zipped so we are okay with that so for you now to make this website visible on your on your website or even if you're doing it for a client or for a subdomain for you to make it visible on this train.webplot.com so let's search for train.webplot.com let me show you what i'm actually saying so let's search for that you're going to see that is a very empty website you see that you cannot see anything here you're not going to see anything here so well let's come back here and now move everything in this folder into our train.webplot.com so let's do that now so now we want to select everything so when we select everything we are going to move it into our train.webplot.com so now if you're still doing it for a new client once you've extracted it click on the folder that was extracted then select every file there and move it into your public underscore html but me i'm moving to my subdomain so I, once i've done that you see move here i have to click on move i'll move to where so now i'm going to remove this one just click your your backspace and remove everything after the slash so for you now the thing that you will find here the thing that we find here is your public underscore you are just going to see public underscore html here so you are going to remove everything after this slash and then click on move files so everything here now will move into train.weblog.com so and once once we've done that we can now reload our website and see if it is live so let me reconnect my server i lost my connection okay it's connected already my connection is back so once we've done that let's reload this um let's reload this um let's wait for that okay that didn't go through so um that didn't go through because of my network so uh, we we have to do this again so i'll select and then we are going to move and then backspace till everything at the back of that slash is off so um, everything is off just click on move files click on move files and everything will be moved into your server immediately so um i don't know why it's taking a lot more time so i have to reload this let's reload that and see what happens 
So just take your time. Most times it 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 kind of takes longer time before it uploads. So just follow my process, guys. It's very easy and simple. So I believe you you've been following up to this extent. So what we're just doing now is to make this website visible on our site. So and you can see I don't know why this is taking it's kind of taking longer time. So I'm going to disconnect and connect this again. Um, let's wait for that to load. Okay, our connection is back, so I have to reload this. Okay, that is still that same way. So I have to select again, and then move, and then I'll remove everything at the back of this. Just click on move files. Wow, guys, everything has moved successfully into train.webplot.com. So let's come back here and reload it. And you're going to see that it is going to come up immediately um, so if you don't do this very well if you don't do this very well it is not going to open so uh, my internet connection is bad so if you don't do this very well it is not going to open so just take your time and carefully do this and your website will be live online so wow guys our site is opening wow 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 so you can see that so once we type training.train.webplot.com you can see that once we type training train.webplot.com our site will be live so you know previously when we did it it was not opening anything it was just as empty so now we have uploaded and extracted and moved this file into our server and that is why you can now see our website is live so guys i believe this has answered one of the requests we got on the video so the guy was asking how can we clone and upload the website to our cpanel so now in this video we have cloned the website we have zipped it and now we i have told you how you can get to your cpanel and now we have cloned and uploaded this website and you can see that our website is live right here so now the next thing we have for this video is to show you how you can start editing this website to make it your own so now for you to start editing this website you should just come let's say we want to edit the home page the home page is always the index.html so that is always the home page so now let's say we want to also edit about us page about us page we have the link as about.html you see that you see this here about.html so the home page has the index.html so let's go back to the home page so i'm going to search for that again so for us to edit this home page right now we are going to come over to this subdomain that we moved everything to and we can now locate our index.html so the home page is everything you're seeing here this is the home page so we can now start editing so let's say we want to edit this text right here let's go back to that text again so let's say we want to edit this text secure and easy way to bitcoin mining so let's want let's say we want to edit this to the client own to the company client own so we can always come back to our file manager so this is index.html so i'll just have to right click on this when i right click i'll click on edit once i'll click on edit twice so you see that so here is the code aspect of the index.html so once you are here you are now going to find you are going to locate the file you want to edit so if you edit that you are going to see that this website will become live in the internet so let's say for you to find anything you want to edit so let's say i want to find that test so i'll just have to click on ctrl f so ctrl f means find so what we saw on the previous was secure secure and easy way to bitcoin mining okay you can see that so i have to come for here and search for what i want to locate secure okay well you we can see that secure and um easy way to bitcoin mine. so let's change this to um the client's own company company x y and let's say we um you get where you get where you get quality quality goods and services 
let's say quality goods and services okay services mine let's just leave it that way and let's save so once this we did this very well so you're going to make sure that you are not uh, manipulating anything wrongly so if you do that wrongly you are going to see that you are going to alter this code so let's refresh our website now so you see that you saw the thing that was previously there so let's refresh that website right now so like oh so once that is open we can always edit so let's go back and see if it has opened wow you can see that the text we edited right now is up so you can see that companies where quality okay you can see we are quality to get goods and services mining so that is just i just did that randomly so let's see we want to edit this learn more button you see the learn more button here so we'll just, just come back to the home here you see learn more button so let's say contact us now let's make that to be contact us con contact us so let's save that Mm, okay it saved it saved so let's reload again so most times if you are editing anything it may not appear immediately but definitely if you saved and uploaded very well it is going to appear so you see that contact us is now here so what else are we going to edit on this website so you can see so you want to remove everything that has assured crystal profit you want to remove everything with assured crystal profit so you can see that Assured Crystal Profit is everywhere. So I want to edit that. We want to edit that. And let's go back to this place. So let's search for Assured. Um, let's search for Assured. Assured Crystal Profit. Assured. Um, Chris. Assured Crystal Profit. So let's search for that now we want to replace everything with a short crystal profit with the companies so i'm just going to click on ctrl h so i want to replace it with everything that has a short crystal profit i want to replace it with company companies x so once i do that i'll just start clicking on enter so and this will keep on changing everything that has a short crystal profit for me so i'm just clicking on the enter button and i want to replace everything with a short so you see that this zero here so nothing else has this a short crystal profit so let's save that now and let's go back to our website so everything has been changed so we're going got to reload this again so let's reload this and let's start from the top of our website so guys you can see how simple it is to copy and clone any website and then upload it online so wow you can see that on this place we now have companies x it was previously a short crystal profit so you see that it is now the companies x so everything that was um a short crystal profit is now so you can see this here also this was companies so you can see my mouse here so this is companies x so everything that has a short crystal profit is now so you can also see the bottom part is now company so guys this is a simple way to copy your website upload it and then with little edit you can deliver this top notch job to your client so now let's say we want to also edit another page another page let's say we want to edit our about us page on this same site so you just have to locate the about us page <coughs> sorry so you can look at the about us page so the about us page in our file manager is at info slash about the html so we'll go back to our file manager and we're going to locate info so you see info here so i'll double click on this i'll double click on that so my sign let me reload and connect again so you can see how simple it is so i'm, I'm connected now so I'll, I'll just reload this so that data error is because i my i lost my internet connection so you can see that it's up here right now so for me to edit my about dot um about page i have to go to about dot html and you can see that this is open here already 
for me so i'll just right click as usual and then click on edit first time and click on edit twice so you can see here so now let's see the things okay you can see a short crystal profit so let's edit a short crystal profit so as usual we control f to find we find a short a short so we find that and uh, a short so let's click on enter i want to locate that second one so i want to locate that second one so um Mm, so I'm, I don't, I'm just trying to locate that first that first test that is on the website so let's go back let's go back let's go back um, okay this is a short crystal profit so I want to see where this is okay your trusted okay your trusted Bitcoin exchange and you can see that here a short crystal profit I, I want to change this I want to change this to companies I want to change this to backspace. I want to change it to companies, company, companies X. So let's scroll up and see if we can see any short crystal profit. So you can see this also. So I want to remove this. So I want to remove this like this. So I will backspace and then I'll click on company companies x so i will save that right away um i save that so i believe that should take effect right now so let's reload our about us page and see if the changes are taking effect okay it's still not showing so let's go back and do some more edits so um i have to copy this and also come here and put it so i'll have to put something like ctrl v so that has changed so i want to still see if there are more changes that we can do on our website um okay let's go down a little more and um, we can always change everything so whatever thing you're seeing here you can just edit that and you paste so let's save this now i believe this change should take effect right now so let's come back here and reload let's come back here. so this is a short crystal profit so it should change immediately so but you can see some of the text here they've changed they've changed so um i as, as i told you that most of them will take some time to come up but if it doesn't come up immediately most times even when you're changing the logo it takes quite longer time so you just have to go to chrome and then go to incognito mode and you're going to see that that's is already uploaded for you so guys this is the simple strategy that i use to copy and upload my website online so there are a lot more other processes there are a lot more other websites i use but this is the particular one i will recommend in this video in subsequent videos we are going to go advanced and we are going to be showing you how to copy the source code of any site and all those kind of stuff so I believe you got value from this video please leave us a thumbs up and turn on the subscription button click on the subscription bell and subscribe to our channel we we will continually bring you videos of this sort that will interest you more and that will always educate you on any techie um, improvement or any advancement in technology and all those kind of stuff so guys we are weblog media and we won't be silent so guys thank you and then leave your question below this video i'll be happy and be glad to be there to answer your questions thank you guys